Welcome. What we're doing today is we are gathering papers, jelly prints, for some future hairs. So the uh, this is a live stream, and so the girls in the chat and I have gathered reds and blues and teals for a rooster project. And then I'm just writing down my color combinations and putting them in a page protector so that I can then put this in a to-do place and I can just grab it. Okay, Kathy, because you all, if somebody else sends me papers, you have different stencils, you have different color choices, it makes me kind of go out of the box. Hi, Laura. We're going to, we'll finish doing this and then we'll start blue. Um, this is the other hair combination we came up with. A sky blue and brown on the bunny and a coral background. So we grabbed some blues and browns and stuck them in the page protector. What we're working on right now is a... What did I just do with it? A red gold, which I have right here. And I have some other red tissue and some newsprint to go behind the tissue. Because when you put this over the, the white goes clear, you can see that text. And so I'm thinking that we'll find some greens and gold in just a minute to kind of go with that. This is a PBO. It'll have green on the outside. So let me grab, first I'm going to grab the neutral metallic bucket and see if I have anything in here that I want to use. Well, I have green and lavender on one of the bunnies and I know I want to use this. It's purple dioxine purple and the PBO green yellow which is kind of what um, you had said Sophia on one of them that's already done I'm also going to collage Dee Dee's picture and I think I'm going to use this Maybe for my night sky. I haven't decided if I want a night sky and a sun or a sun and a day sky. Because there's also this for a day sky. So I'm going to set those aside. See, like I'm looking through my bucket. That's purple and green. And I don't have a lot of gold. There's some gold on tissue. There's some gold and white. That's good. Also think this might be really good on as a contrast on one of the bunnies. Something in the air is blowing. It wants to blow that away. And I think I want to use on the bunny that I use this I want to use this and it can go on this one that's going to be the greens and the blue bright vivid and magenta because if you had like a vivid green behind this that would look really pop with the magenta this is kind of how I do it when I pull my papers is they're organized to the side of me now. They weren't always organized. They were in a big metal tray. But now I have them in one, two, six big drawers. 
and then I have six little drawers. So what I did for my color combos is pink, purple, red, orange, orange, yellow, brown, metallics and neutrals and browns, blues and greens. And some could go in either drawer. It's kind of hard to decide. Hi, Dot. Hi, Shells. We're pulling some papers and then we're going to finish blue. So we need some green. And I want greens that are limey. This green I'm going to pull for over here. Since I'm in the... No? Actually, I'm going to pull it for this one and this one. No? I'm going to change my mind again. This is more mid-tone, but this is bright. Because that's just the PBO. That's bright. We'll end up pulling some... Maybe some teal blues to go with this. And this I want to pull more. And I may even throw some pinks on the bunny. And the background. Over here we're looking for That might be interesting in some places because this is kind of sophisticated. Um, that's vivid metallics, but it will bleed, so I won't. But this is good for this over here, especially because the watercolor will fill all those cracks. I'll put this over here. The air is moving that. Let me put pencil on top of that. This tissue is good. Um, it's so good it might have to go to the rooster. Not sure. Oh, but I already put some, I think I'll save it because it's got some luscious, luscious brown bits in there. That's interesting. I don't think it's going to work for what we're doing right now. Alright, so I may use some of this green on actually both of these. So I'm going to just take a piece for both of them because I'm not going to use it in its entirety. Alright, so let's put the greens up. That gives us some golds and some reds, a little bit of a little bit of green here and there, and some dictionary print. So I'm gonna call this one done. I'm trying to figure out where I put the little label. I think it got moved to the side. This one's going to need 
some more blues. Here's the label for that. Or pinks, actually. All right, so let's put this one in here. You know what? This one could end up being very Christmassy, almost. And I think I have some Christmas paper that's real subtle that's red with, like, gold embossed on it that I might pull out and use. Okay. Let's go to the pink, purple drawer. And we're looking for some lavenders that go with this green and purple and we're looking for more bright pink that might go with this and blues because there might be something in here that has a combination like see that's pretty somebody sent this to me and it's got the purple and the green That's got some pink and the black. I don't think I want to use that pink and that black. This is too red. There's just a solid purple. There's a pretty blue and green. We need it more blue over there. That one has more green, so I'll take that one. There's a dusky purple or a purple gray. This would make a really good nose for this one. I'll keep that hole because that might be good for a body. Yeah, a Christmas uh, the show I'm going to is July 8th. See, here's one from Kathy that's got some pinks. And I'm not a big pink person, so I don't have very much pink paint. I like that more magenta color. I think that's too neon. And this is kind of the process that I kind of go through. There's some pink tissue I might use in the background or on the bunny somewhere. That I want to stick in the rooster package. This is really pretty too. It's purple and blue. I think I'll save that for another project. Uh, this is just straight up some purple fleur-de-lis. I'm going to put that over there. Because I like to give the bunnies what I think of as like tattoos or markings. Ooh, that's pretty too. Uh, what's funny is I did a jelly printing class. And some of these pieces are not my jelly prints. They're left over from the class. And two of the girls in the class were like on the purple and the pinks. And they were, like I said, colors that I don't necessarily pick. So 
this goes in the rooster, so let me stick that in the rooster package. And then this one, I think I've got enough purples and greens here. that I like. And then what I'm going to do is put the tag with the color combo on the front. It's going to be my first time going to this show. I like this lady does these shows and I wasn't going to them because I didn't like where they were in town. No, the dog's not finished yet, Doc. We're going to do it in just a minute. Um, but she, I, well, Bobby found it. Bobby saw that for this show, July 8th, that she was in this area off Magnolia, which is a really uh, cool area. And I have lots of friends that are over there. It's very artsy. And. So I signed up for the July 8th. Now she's going to be in a different location, but she'll have two in September, two in October, and two in November. And she doesn't do a show in December. So I, if I do well, then I'll probably go. I'll try at least once going to the other location. Uh, so that gets all the rabbits. So that's kind of... A good way to prep and then what I'm gonna do is glue do all the gluing and then I can do all the water coloring so if I do a moon for Dee's project I'm thinking this could be the background and then this would be the moon. If I do a daytime, that could be the background and I could find a sun. But I'm really leaning towards a nighttime for some reason. But I'm not positive. So I'm just going to set. And then this is like bronze. It has a little red. So I'll put this paper in the box that says neutral metals. Oh, did you? Did you buy anything? 20 pieces? That's good. A lot of it depends on what it costs you to enter the show. Crap. Sorry. We get that. Well, no. Okay. All right. Let's put, can't get that pencil right now, I'll get it later. We put that up. That was actually the original song I'm writing, so we're going to be doing the gas monkey. On the okay. 20th, August 25th, everybody. They, they're not anywhere near here. All right. So let me stop that recording. I'm not leaving, and 